Good morning all, welcome. Wyoming 2019 second season whitetail hunt. My mom and my daughter are coming back in a couple of days. And so I got two days to kind of get set up. I've got three tags. I've got a buck tag and two whitetail doe tags. Our numbers are way up, so we've got to get those does slimmed down. I, uh, I came in this morning, I peeked over this ridge, and there's a real nice buck chasing a doe. It's not where my mom and daughter are going to hunt, so I'm going to try and harvest this deer. This is a, this is a really nice deer. I'm just going to set up the camera. If he steps out of the frame, doesn't matter. I'm going to, I'm going to try and hunt him. I could just, I got to walk away from it. So I'm going to get to where uh, I can see his general area and then slip in there. So hang in there. Okay, all I heard was a thwack and I could see a deer disappear in the grass and the two does ran out so I'm thinking I smoked this buck. I don't know if it's in the frame or not, but I think you could see him walking. He may have walked out, but oh man, I gotta cross the river. Body on this deer. Bitchin' split brows. Oh yeah. These deer get so they get so big in this country. Body-wise, it's just gigantic white tail. some photos and then you know, get them all cleaned up. Both hindquarters, both front shoulders, both neck loins, back loins, neck roast. That's what you're missing if you're cutting that head too short. Tenderloins, liver, heart, grind and rib meat, and the crown jewel. 31 minutes. You can do it. It feels good to be proficient about what you do. Now all you gotta do is pick a little hair, let it cool down, and enjoy it with your family. Y'all, I have separated this into a big bag of four quarters and everything else in a small game bag. Now this deer weighed in around 250 pounds and so I know that a 3,000 pack is not designed for it. I don't have to go very far, maybe three or 400 yards. So I just strap it to the outside of the pack and off we go. It'll help you to set your backpack on something so you're already standing up when you got a bunch of weight on you. Clip everything in, get it tight, make sure you get that belt strap tight so your hips are holding a lot of the weight. <coughs> Ease up. Try not to take you to those giant bounding steps. Just one foot in front of the other, y'all. Make sure you have, in the state of Wyoming, make sure you have your carcass coupon. The long part you notch, make sure your carcass coupons in with the meat, not with the head. Uh, head needs to be with meat for proof of sex. And if I didn't have the head and I was traveling, I would need to have some sort of male identification on that meat, attached, not cut off and put in the bag, attached. Okay, let's go find us a couple of those.
My mom and daughter came in around 8 o'clock at night, so they're seeing this whole world in the dark. And so by design, we didn't wake up before sunrise and get out to the blind and walk them through freezing temperatures and unfamiliar territory. Again, you want this to be a really good experience. So we let the sun come up and we eased our way in there and just spent our first morning getting familiar with our surroundings. We made a good lunch, saw some critters, and our first day was already over. How is it, Linda? Thank you, Jesus, for this food. And if it be your will to have a great big giant buck or two, come within 40 yards while we eat lunch, okay? <laughs> no sense in doing it. Oh, twice. you look so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to go hunting with daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so much fun. Morning of day two with the girls, we woke up to a light dusting of snow and cold temps. As soon as we got in the blind and got settled, I said, Lens, we got a buck coming. This deer did exactly what we wanted him to do. He was looking for a hot doe. He walked within 60 yards of the blind. And anybody watching that's been there is like, shoot, shoot. We just had so much trouble getting ourselves arranged. He got behind the blind where we didn't have a window open very good. Lindsay couldn't get him in the scope. It was just one of those situations where you're best off to not shoot and just see what happens. We watched that buck feed off and Lindsay said, how did I do? And I said, you did great. Now let's get out of this blind and get in those cottonwoods and see if we can find one holding her grandmother's hand as she eased off some snowy edges. She's still all girl and having fun out there with her dad and her grandma. Within an hour, Lindsay and I had crawled off the top of this rim, bailed off into the bottom of the cottonwoods with the wind in our face, and we found ourselves a hundred yards from a great buck sound asleep in the cottonwoods. As his does fed around him, it's the longest 13 minutes of my life. Lindsay and I snuck another 40 yards, got behind a tree, and the film says the rest. <laughs> That's how we want to kill him. Look at that. 
Okay. <laughs> People say it can't be done. Just snuck in and walked on him. Well, I didn't. Well, okay. We crawled. We did crawl some. You think he'll work? <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Kind of majestic. I know, right? You're wondering what I did today. I left Lindsay with that deer for a few, and she filmed this on her own. I went to go get my mom to get her back to take pictures and show her what had happened. It's such a great moment in time. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of things that are happening going through your brain after the first time you've killed something. Uh, Lindsay's been around it her whole life, so she understands the life and death part. But it is a little real when you do it yourself. And so I'm glad she filmed this for her. Congrats on your first animal. Thank you. Not just big game animal, your very yeah. first animal. Thank How you. was the experience? It was good. It was long, but it was worth it. Lots of flying, sitting in the cold weather. Yes. We had two experiences this morning where we had a deer come into the blind and we just couldn't get things set and we were all over the place and that's what I call the emotional roller coaster that oh almost almost and it's like ah oh, it didn't work out but but he was an eight and we got this one now <laughs> and he is a ten yeah he's a beautiful deer uh mature deer one done anyway congrats I'm proud of you you did good thank you can we eat him yes On our last morning of the hunt, as our heaters melted the snow off the top of the blind, my mother was burning a hole through those binos. By day three, we had realized that that big buck was probably traveling through the property and I just happened to catch him on a hot doe. All of our efforts, we never did see him again. So mom was gonna shoot the first buck she had an opportunity to and we were gonna relax the rest of the day. Like an answer to prayer, the buck from the day before that gave Lindsay an opportunity showed up in about the same place. Although he took another route that was substantially farther, my mom got set up. This deer was about 340 yards, and we were thinking he was closer to about 240. She leveled off, and it went a little bit low right, and that buck ran out of our lives, so we got on foot and started stomping our way through the cottonwoods on what wound up being a very cold, very stormy day. We worked our butts off, y'all. We walked from one end of the cottonwoods to the next, just seeing if we could find us a buck. We struggled, but we were in good spirits. I went back up and tore down the blind in the middle of the day and we finished up with one long evening walk. We saw one little buck and it started to get dark and cold and we realized it's really not about killing a deer. It's about being here together, working really hard and enjoying our time. A little bit of struggle, a whole bunch of learning and a whole bunch of being together.
to me there is nothing sad about this the whole thing was just precious to look back now huh, it's hard to put into words if you would please remove your hat i'd like to close in prayer lord thank you for dear this beautiful and abundant critter that pulls us out of our cozy environment and brings us together as a family lord thank you for healthy well-managed lands and the tools that give us fantastic photos and brilliant videos lord i pray that through these films others are encouraged to share their hunts and tell the right story of hunting and lastly lord i pray that we never forget our responsibility to tend to the land and the animals as you intended and it's in your name we pray amen